Hello everybody and welcome back to the Miser's Guide to Ebony. In this building spotlight video, we will be looking at the quarry. The quarry is the resource production tile that is in charge of producing stone. We're going to talk about what the quarry does. We're going to talk about how to collect resources. We're going to talk about the base output of the quarry. And lastly, we will look at the capacity. All right, so talking about the quarry, I said it does produce stone. Um, this is going to be one of your main sources of stone. The information tab here tells you how much per hour you will be producing. At a level 35 quarry, you produce 32,900 stone as the base amount. Now, this amount can be increased through modifiers. You can see that in the green text here. Um, first and easiest one is to put on the stone production crystal, which is the wind crystal. You'll see that that amount increases here. So I'm, I've increased that a bit. Um, another way you can do that is through city buffs. You can add a city buff. I have a 24 hour quarry speed up active right now, which is a 100% increase. I could put a 200% increase, which lasts for only eight hours and just keep reapplying that. Um, I could do that as well. And the way to get those eight hour ones is actually going through speed ups here. You look for your 24 hour ones and here they are and you would compose them. It takes three of the low level ones or 24 hour ones to get one of the eight hour speed ups. Uh, the 24 hour ones I usually collect through the black market and I go through here, uh, I pay a little resources to get uh, those speed ups because I do gain more uh, by investing a little bit a little bit in getting those speed ups. Uh, one of the main sources of your production increases is going to be the advancement tab in your academy. You can look at uh, some production research there. We have masonry, which increases the hourly production of your quarries. Uh, it's plus 1000. So that's just on your base amount there. Uh, masonry here, another plus 70% and there should be another one. If I go down, it is super masonry, another 100%. All right. Okay, those are the main sources. You could also have a wall generate wall general like Shajar that I have talked about there. Just remember to keep your wall general um, defensible with gear equipped and so on. Even if you do want to use that 100% increase that uh, you can have on that wall. All right, let's move on to talk about resource collection. So you probably see me clicking around quite a bit. Um, every once in a while, you'll see some bubbles appear on your resource tiles. That means they're ready to collect. You can click the bubbles and it will collect the resources for that individual tile, or you can just be smart and click the bubble on top of the warehouse that collects all the resources for all the city tiles. And it also grabs some gold from your subordinate cities. Um, anything that is uncollected that you have not clicked yet through one of those ways is something that can be captured by enemies even if you are uh, under these protected amounts that I discussed in the warehouse building spotlight video. Um, but remember, the easiest way to protect yourself is just to keep a bubble up and then nobody can attack you at all. Okay, uh, now we're on to base output. So the base output of a level 35 quarry is 32,900. That base amount increases as you level up your quarry. Um, and it does have a huge impact on your production because the modifiers, the plus 100 here, plus 70 here, all those things depend on the base amount that is being produced by your individual quarries. So you do wanna increase the level of your city tiles increase that base output so that everything is inflated when you have all the modifiers uh, that are modifying your output. And lastly, I do want to talk about capacity. I have discussed this in every video uh, because the number is very misleading. It says my capacity for a quarry is 394,800. I can tell you that that definitely isn't correct. Um, and the game even tells you, please claim your resources within 12 hours because you want to, it basically goes with a timer. When you click your resource tile, it sets a timer and uh, resources are produced for a while until you get to that 12 hour mark and then they stop getting produced. 
Um, so as long as you are clicking your tiles and you're collecting your stuff every 12 hours or uh, more frequently than that would be preferable, you will produce the maximum amount of resources possible. Um, but if you wait 18 hours, for example, to click, then you have a whole bunch of hours worth of wasted production. So try to click within every 12 hours for sure to get that amount. And like I said, it is not based on an actual amount. So it's not 400,000 that you can click, uh, that you can click and collect. It is based off the amount of time. So if you have no bonuses uh, that are applied, then you'll be producing the base output for 12 hours straight. But if you have this stuff uh, applied, all those modifiers, uh, you'll be producing a lot faster, a lot more stone, um, but it'll still go for 12 hours. So it's not based on the amount, it's based on the time. Hopefully that helps a few people that uh, have some misconceptions there. Um, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and so on if it was helpful for you. And I do want to send a uh, uh, an appreciative note to all the channel members that chose to click join and uh, join as channel members. The support does help uh, produce videos for the Miser's Guide to Ebony um, and it is very appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.